So as you can see, the file over here is getting somehow big. So in this video, we will organize it. So go to this file. Now go to new and choose file. Now over here, choose C, C++ header. Press go. Let's skip this and next. Now over here, we want to choose the path of the file. So press on this and make sure that the file is on the path of the current project. So section 225. Now the file name, let's say it is XO. Okay, now press save. Now press on add file to active project, build and release. Now press finish. We get this file over here. Now we want to add another file. So go to file, new, file. And now press on C, C++, source. And now we press go. Skip this, next, C, next. The same, we want to put it over here and it's called XO also. They must have the same name. So the header file that we made in a little bit, it is XO.h. And this over here will be XO.c. Press save, debug, release, and press finish. Now we have our two files. So basically, this header file contains the prototypes of the function that we have and this file contains the implementation or the code. So let me get the prototypes. So here is the prototypes. I will cut them and put them over here. Save the file and save the main. Now we want to get the code for the functions. So it is the code over here. Cut it and let's get it here to this main.c. So paste the code and save. Now, we have this XO game in these two files. Now, to link this file with this one, we have to do the following. On the top of this file, first of all, we want to include the libraries we always use because we are using C code over here. So, stdlib.h and also we want to include standard input output.h. Also, we want to include the header file that we made. So, include and now we use quotations, not angle brackets. And over here, we put xo.h. As you can see, here it is. Now save the file. And back in the main, in order to use the functions that we have over here, also we have to include this x.o.h. Now in the main, include xo.h. Perfect. Now let's build the program. Press F2 to open the logs. And as you can see, we have no errors and no warnings. Run the program. And here is our game and it works perfectly as you can see so using header files and source files we can organize our code so you can use header files whenever you want maybe you want to group the functions that we made so far in the course and put them in a file and use them inside the main this is possible so this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one